George, the relationship between Canador and, and Kojiko is unique. And we've, you've had a, a lot of graduates that have gone on to full-time employment there. You've had some that have been there and moved on. You have kids that come in there and train. It's really a remarkable situation where kids have been able to learn the news business, uh, really getting in deep. Well, it is, and this is uh, kind of the definition of a real community partnership. That we have uh, AA Kojiko, which is focused on uh, local content, local talent. And uh, the talent that uh, is currently working at Kojiko, or in your words, have, have uh, been at Kojiko, uh, either as students on placement or their first job. Uh, some have moved on to other positions. Uh, and uh, it's been a really good symbiotic relationship where the students get to work in, in the real world, as we call it. Uh, and Kojiko has always been a willing partner to uh, do two things uh, for us. Uh, support what we do as an educational institution and to give uh, young professionals uh, their first chance, be it as a volunteer, as a placement, or as a full-time job. And, and more hands-on than a lot of other places would oh, give. absolutely. I, I, you know, the one thing about uh, Kojiko uh, is that uh, I, I would say that the motto should be, we're going to throw you into the fire. Uh, and uh, sink or swim, you're going to learn about the industry and you get to apply what you're being taught in the classroom and the laboratories here out in the field. And uh, what a better opportunity uh, for students that come to us from across Ontario, across Canada, to have that experience with Kojiko, with Canador, as part of a continuum of learning. It's uh, fantastic. The fact is, George, that local news has taken hits across the country and, and even major news outlets have taken hits as well. Kojiko North Bay News has been an exception to that, and perhaps it could be the beginning of, uh, of a new trend. Right, so there has been consolidation in the news, uh, in the media industry across uh, the globe, basically. And, uh, and you're right, Kojiko is an exception, uh, dedicating that half hour local newscast. And uh, I think that uh, Kojiko is actually uh, not behind the trend, but actually leading a new trend as I see emerging. Uh, what do people want? Well, they want content, but they want content that's meaningful and within a context. And what Kojiko is doing with your local newscast and your local coverage is providing local news, local events within a local context, and that's what people are interested in. The global news, you know, that happens around uh, this great big world of ours, you can capture on any device, anywhere, anytime. But what's really pertinent to people at the end of their day is what's happening in their neighborhood. And that's really what we're interested in uh, as a consumer. So I think the pendulum's coming back. You're going to see more growth in local news and local content uh, because, frankly, we're, we're bombarded by content and now we're having to sift through it. And what source is most meaningful to us is, again, what's closest to our back door. And that's why I think you've really hit a sweet spot with what you're doing with uh, Kojiko News.